first you're gonna start off with clean nails. I do just wanna push the cuticles back um, as much as possible so that the strip will be able to lay flat. You can use your own fingernail to push them back. If you have a nail clipper that has one of those little metal tools, you can, you can do that. If you have a professional one, some of the nail kits come with this little wooden guy. If you have hangnails, this would be the time to try to get rid of those as well. If you need to reshape your nail or clip them, you could do that here too. This is just the prep to get your nails ready um, for the strips. As part of the process, when your toes are blank, you still need to do the same thing that you would do on your fingernails. In fact, you even need to be a little bit more diligent because there's gonna be some buildup and you don't want the strips to lay on top of this stuff. So you really just want to clear out anything that could deter your strips. This is also a good time to shape your toenail, cut your toes, clean out any hangnails. Just get everything pushed down. It's not gonna be perfect, that's okay, but just as much as possible. So this is the color that we're gonna use today. We're gonna use this entire pack on both our fingers and the toes, and we can see what is inside. Comes with a nail file, a prep pad, and the strip. Okay, so now that there's a little bit of space up here, I can find the notch and I can open it, being careful not to rip any of the nail strips in the package. Once you pull them out, you'll notice that there's actually two sets and they have varying widths. So you can determine what width makes sense for your nails. So you can kind of hold up your finger to see which one might work. And there are a few that maybe work, could work multiple different nails. This strip fits best for my thumb. Remember that you will be folding it over the edges so you do want it to be able to be a little bit rounded. I choose this for my pinky and I use it uh, the other way because this end is a little fatter. So thumb, pointer, middle, ring, pinky. With the three strips I have left over, I would be using those on my toes. So for my big toe, I've actually found it more beneficial to wrap it to the side. For this guy, I need to make sure that I can get all of the toes with this one strip. So I actually cut this strip into three, and then I utilize this tiny one on my pinky by going sideways. I've taken the clear layer and the back layer off of my strip and I'm ready to apply it to my nail. I always just wipe the toenail one more time with acetone to make sure that there's no remnant oil and you want to make sure as much as possible that the part of the strip that's going on your nail you do not touch. I'm gonna do my very best to align this on my nail and the acetone makes it super sticky on my nail. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna push it down and smooth it as much as I can. Because I'm going sideways, I wanna push as much as I can down to the curvature of the nail and make sure I can really get in there. And I wanna adhere it and smooth it as much as possible. Once I feel like it's on my nail and it's pretty good, there's a couple different ways I can get the excess off. I actually perforate it with this little stick, but you wanna be gentle. You don't wanna to go too quick and you don't wanna to be too rough because you don't want to accidentally mess up some of the nail strip that is adhered on your actual nail. I'm going to gently pull away the extra, making sure I get all the little details. Now my big toe is done and you can see kind of how the process works.
Okay, it's time to glam up the hand. So first rule is that we want to do the thumb last. As much as possible, you want to get everything done and then do your finishing thumb. So um, typically I start with my uh, middle finger um, just because I go by size, um, but you can really go in any order. Um, I also tend to use this nail a lot to perforate, and so I think that's one of the reasons I stick with the uh, middle finger first. It's really up to you though. So I'm gonna use my middle fingernail and do that first. You're gonna peel off the clear, and then you're going to peel off the back. Avoid touching the um, adhesive part of the nail. The oils on your fingers really don't do you any good if you touch this because then um, it doesn't adhere to your nail as well. You also want to wipe your nail really quickly with acetone before you adhere the strip. And I can lay this gently on here. And I want to do as best as I can to really get it down in there on the sides, underneath my nail bed. I really want to smooth it down. And I typically tend to fold it over the edge. And then I'll just gently perforate the top with this little tool here. You could also just use your fingernail. So now we really want to pull up the edge and see what we're working with. Again, you want to be gentle. You don't want to rip. Ah! You don't want to rip it. Um, you just really want to make it nice and clean. And beautiful. So, middle finger is done. 